hello everyone uh, welcome to the new tutorial uh, of the series uh, where we will be creating the e-commerce website from the scratch so in the first two, tutori two tutorials I explained you uh, what are different tools which will be required for creating the website and the second tutorial we I explained you how to install XAMPP and how to test it whether it's working correctly or not in this tutorial I'll explain you about the WordPress uh, so the WordPress is the content management system and lot of websites, uh, static websites are currently using WordPress as their, uh, you know, uh, platform to, uh, for, uh, for all the purposes. So I will suggest you to go ahead and go to uh, wordpress.org and go and read about, uh, you know, the WordPress more. For installation purpose, uh, again, uh, I'll uh, ask you to go to wordpress.org and download the latest version of WordPress, so WordPress 4.6.1. So just click on this button, it will download the WordPress uh, dot, uh, WordPress in a zip file, it will look like this. So I have already downloaded it and then just do a right click and unzip this file. So you will get a folder called WordPress. Now this WordPress folder will have to copy it to uh, our XAMPP htdocs folder. So I, uh, as explained earlier, the htdocs will be the folder where the websites are website will run from okay but just in case if you have taken any hosting account with any of the major uh, hosters so what will happen there is uh, they might not be running XAMPP at the back end so the htdocs folder might not exist so in their cases it can have it can have a folder called as public underscore html or www folder so you can copy that wordpress uh, zip file uh, uh, the folder inside one of uh, inside the public underscore html folder or www folder so it will be like this okay the next thing which we have to do is we have to go to the uh, our let's go to the our uh, control panel xam control panel and click on admin to open my php my admin now here we will have to create one database okay so the database name you can give just uh, any database name let's say e-commerce okay I'll say e-commerce and I'll just create it so it creates a new oh sorry I created a table inside so create database I'll create e-commerce the database let's say e-commerce I'll say create so the database already exists I think somehow it got created so let it be there okay the two databases so the e-commerce database has been created uh, let's create another one let's let's give some some uh, let's say a clothing store okay so I'll say create database clothing store so it creates a database called as clothing store here it created an e-commerce as well but we'll go with the clothing store okay so I'll just copy the name clothing store from here which course we'll be using it in the later stages so now uh, let's go to the local host and say slash wordpress okay so what it'll do is it'll, uh, it'll open the uh, wordpress setup config.php so inside this wordpress if i open there's an index.php which will directly get opened so this is what it opens it so it it lasts it will ask for the database name, username, password, host and table prefix. So let's go. Our database name is clothing store as we have created just now. Uh, so by default the uh, database username password is uh, username is root, password is blank and our database locates in the local host only and all the tables which will be created under clothing store will get prefix with wp underscore. So let it, let's keep uh, as it is and let's say submit. So yep, uh, it so WordPress is now able to uh, contact with our database and it's asking if we can go ahead. So I'll say run the installation. Okay, once the installation is run, uh, it'll ask for the site title. So our site is clothing store. Okay, you can give your admin username. So I'll give admin. Okay, password we'll have to give twice. So I'll give password. I'll say password and you can give your email address uh, so I'll give Kevin underscore deals 08 at the rate gmail.com 
and then uh, you can say if search uh, search engines can index the sites you can say yes and so let's say install wordpress so now uh, it says the admin and uh, whatever password i have set up is the password so let's say login so now we are logging into the admin part of uh, the site so i'll say remember me so login So as you can see the WordPress has successfully installed in our uh, local host and it's this is the admin part of it. I'll show you how it looks like so I can go to the local host slash WordPress. Oh, briefly unable for schedule maintenance please check back in a minute. So let's go here let's say themes just quickly check it and uh, 2015 is active that is nothing wrong with it yeah so now if you see so we are able to open localhost wordpress website it says the clothing store just another website hello world so the wordpress has installed successfully and it's running fine okay so in the next tutorial we'll see how to uh, install a theme on this wordpress site so that it looks better and then from there we'll work on creating our e-commerce web website okay thanks for watching thank you